Hello everybody and welcome, it's Vidan here, so glad that you can tune into another video. Today I'm going to show you how to kill Vortex in 1 minute 20 or under. With no skill issue like I have and a scuff tier 5, you can definitely do this. You could probably push it down to near a minute. So I'm going to give you kind of all the flavours that you need to do. So for tier 1, we are starting with 4 first strikes and you really want to try and get all ability cooldowns um, on time. If you're struggling with this, just get the first strikes down during the round. And even at the worst case scenario, you will do it in about 22 seconds, okay? It's a great strategy for tier 1, and it also puts you in a good eco position. Next, okay, these placements are hard, but I want to give a detailed guide here on how to farm. Because for you to be able to get an engineer paragon for tier 3, you need to really optimise your farming. This took me a lot of tries, okay? And I've inspired um, my kind of play here from Black Eye Fly's Elite video. So I'm going to give a more less optimal strategy, but one that works really quite well. So the goal is we're going to get two villages down, one far left and then one nudged right to the right of it. Yeah, right next to it, okay? And then you're also going to put another one below it, so we've got three discount villages, and then we can afford the Monkey City with a double discount. You can sell the third village, though. It's not important. What's important is two or three things. One, you can fit a banana farm in the top left. Two, you can fit an engineer just below the banana farm and free to the right of the village you need to be able to fit a farm as well so this wasn't fully pixel perfect here so i had to reload it and this is the one that actually works so we've got our engineer down and then we can fit a farm just above it just about now it takes a little bit of nudging and wiggling but it does fit and then we can also fit one to the right of this so make sure that you've got these placements set up the goal here is that we can basically anything that generates money is in range of a monkey city we can fit four banana farms in range of this monkey city and the balloon trap then proceed to get a brf instantly and a balloon trap and then you want to save for an overclock now defending is quite hard just doing 41 with one balloon trap so what I recommend doing is just get two balloon traps, okay? It's not the most efficient, but it makes life a lot easier. Don't forget to get jungle drums as well. So get two balloon traps, then an overclock, okay? For round 49, you will also need two mob maulers. I believe on round 46, I also got a rubber to gold or lead to gold alchemist to avoid penalty. Then from there, build marketplaces in range and then get free central markets, okay? Once you've got free central markets, save up for 20,000 or more, okay? Once you have 20,000 or more, so I'm going to get it at the end of round 51, we're going to be able to get a banana central. So really, you want about 24k roughly, okay? Then what's going to happen? We're going to sell everything pretty much. So we're going to sell the free central markets. We're going to sell the overclock and then we're going to sell the favoured trades and I believe that should be enough. We may have to sell um, the village as well if we need to. If not, no, we don't. Okay, so we can get a banana central that's currently overclocked. First thing to do is build back your overclock, then just spam marketplaces and central markets. And it should be in a really good position. At the end of round 58, I want you to build a perma spike. Okay, you can do it on 58. It's a bit close, but it's fine. Get a perma spike. Make sure as well that you have got sufficient defense for the perma spike so its pile doesn't go down. Mine's extremely close here, so please defend it a bit better than what I did. Maybe an overdrive or something. Then get your five first strikes set up on time during the end of 58. And also, this is how you insta kill it. We get an anti balloon out of range. We let the perma spike do the first bar, spam the five first strikes, then use the anti balloon, and it's done just like that. This leaves you about 200k plus to start farming for your NG Paragon. Get it down around 77, get all turrets deployed at the start, and I've put it on slow-mo here what to do. You put one turret down, okay, that causes one of them to explode, and then you sell the NG Paragon, and that's it. That's the insta-kill done. Make sure it's at least degree 10 or higher. It is hard to get that farming-wise, okay? But hopefully with a good tier 2 farming setup, you should be able to get it. If you're struggling, go for a cheaper option, such as like a Ray of Doom, Dark Paragon, Perma Spike, the first bar or something like that, okay? Um, just have a little play around with it, but your goal really is a degree 10 or higher NG. Now for farming from 80 to 100, what I did was is just spam BRFs and defended with a plane. Now I'll just give a little call on what I did for 60 to 80 as well to get the NG Paragon. You want to make sure that you defend with basically two overdrives with an alchemist and primary village and a recursive cluster. Then you need to spam, spam, spam 
BRFs everywhere and then start spamming overclocks, okay? You've got to be really efficient with your overclocks and then you can get what's called a special operations heli and if you pick up a favor trades with it, it then becomes what's called a sellicopter um, because you can then start selling towers with the favored trades buff and you get more cash back. So you'll definitely need to do that, I think, to be really safe to get the engineer. So it is quite skilled. If you're a bit of a casual player, don't worry about it. Just go for like a dark paragon ray of doom, like I said. Okay, now for tier four, we're going to insta-kill it with spikes and a degree 25 or higher ace so what we're going to do is we're going to build a support temple at the end of 96 or i think this is actually end of 95 we're going to get my um helicopter sorted here we need to make sure that we have homeland active and we need to make sure that we perma brew the perma spike pile that we're going to get so make sure that you buy the perma brew as well in range of the support temple to save you finance a bit. And then just make sure that when the perma spike goes down, it's always overclocked and, you know, use homeland as often as possible. So you could potentially get an energizer submarine to help with that. I didn't go for deadly spikes here because if you mess up with deadly spikes once, it's game over. So I just want the perma spike pile to be safe and do it all, okay? Make sure as well when you build the ace that it's at least degree 25 and that you also get some first strikes so i'd recommend three or four first strikes just in case um, a little mishap happens and also make sure you build the ace at the end of 97 so the ability is ready straight away and he should look like this so i've got a cripple mob i've got a glue sorted three first strikes and i used an energizer sub to help make sure that we can homeland as frequently as possible okay the perma brew is active on the spike pile and everything looks good what you're going to see here is though it's going to mess up and i don't know why so, this is something that kind of happens with bosses and insta-kills. Sometimes, you just need to retry it and hope the order works out better, basically. That's literally it. As you can see, after the first strikes, I've got like 5k health left. So, at this point, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, did I just miss out on one first strike and that was it. So, then I reloaded it. Luckily, we're confident that the perma spike pile is fully sorted. We're going to make sure to get our cripple mob down again. Set it on strong, okay? So, 502 cripple mob because that'll, you know, debuff tower, always helpful. Make sure that the perma spikes do the job correctly. And all I did was I just kind of repositioned the um, bombs so it's a bit more to the left and vertically down. And then, I don't know, it just sort of works this time, okay? So sometimes that's what you need to do. You just need to give it another attempt. I don't really know why this one worked and the other one didn't. It's just the ability timings can be very sensitive, especially on Vortex, okay, with its shield. So that's how you'd insta-kill not perfectly insta-kill, it's a bit slow, but that's how you insta-kill um, tier 4 and save your eco pretty good. And then here we go, the holy grail of ruining my runs, tier 5. So I got a degree 40 NG, degree 40 ace, degree 38 dart, but I built the NG a tiny bit too late, um, which is super frustrating, okay? So to get these degree 40s, all I did was from 100 to 116, I defended with just a balloon trap and ace plane okay make sure it was homeland buffed and that did all of it so you want to accumulate at least two million pops on both an engineer and a plane to get them to degree 40 and then because of this it's just fully scuffed basically um also my eco wasn't the best here considering how good i'd kept it throughout the game i kind of just you know let my foot off the gas at the end which is really unfortunate um so when i felt it was good time to i just sold the ng paragon then used the plane and it kind of worked out the annoying thing is as well you have to wait like 10 seconds for the round to end so that's roughly you know a layout for the top 50 i hope that you know me showing the farming has helped you out a lot thank you guys for all the support you know nearly 250 subscribers soon let's go thank you and i'll see you soon